Hello and welcome to Rom Semiconductor. My name is Michael Maurer and I'm acting as Senior Application Marketing Manager responsible for power management ICs as well as the ADAS application. Today I want to provide you an overview of the BD868A0, the newest power management IC for automotive satellite cameras. Before going into technical details, let's have a look onto an actual satellite camera subsystem. Such cameras are composed of a few components only, the image sensor itself, the serializer to transfer the image data towards the sensor fusion system, and the power supply. The resolution of the imager, the color depth, and the frame rate define the minimum requested serializer bandwidth. A 4 megapixel image with 16-bit resolution and 30 frames per second request already a netto bandwidth of more than 2 gigabit per second. The camera system is usually connected via coax to transfer such data and the power. As the solution size in the vehicle is very important, the requested components need to be mounted on PCBs with a size of only a 2 euro coin. This will request perfect and efficient thermal designs as there is no active cooling foreseen and the cameras need to operate at any time, means also in hot summers when the sun is burning onto the vehicle. As such cameras are part of other systems, functional safety features will become mandatory. And due to the small requested form factor, safety functions need to be integrated into the power management IC. Here we can see the main challenges for camera subsystems in one view. The form factor challenge which requests smallest component size and highest integration level, the resolution challenge, which asks for serializers with highest bandwidth, the thermal design challenge, which requests optimized power designs and outstanding regulator efficiencies, and last but not least, the power supply integration challenge, which requests functional safety features integrated. While now focusing on the power supply challenges, power solutions need to be as small as possible. It means that PIMIC packages are requested to be small. The number of external components needs to be reduced and the requested externals needs to come in a very, very small form factor. Low regulator conversion losses will help to overcome the thermal challenges. So perfect power architecture with switching regulators whenever feasible is requested and best-in-class conversion efficiencies are mandatory. As the form factor doesn't allow to use discrete voltage su supervision ICs, the integration of such features into the power management IC will become a must. This will allow to report any power abnormality via the serializer to the sensor fusion processor. Here we can see a principal connection diagram of a typical camera subsystem. The imager on the left side is connected via a MIPI and I2C interface to the serializer. The serializer transfers the data to the coax cable. Via this cable, the power to the camera subsystem is delivered. The PMIC stabilizes the single input voltage with its primary buck and delivers three voltages to the entire system. PMIC communication is performed via its I2C interface and two GPIOs. This slide shows the BD868A0, Rome's newest and most advanced PMIC for camera systems, solving all the camera subsystem challenges. 
The PMIC includes a full integrated primary bug regulator, two secondary bugs with integrated FATs, as well as an LDO, generating a low noise output voltage. All regulator output voltages will have a 2% voltage tolerance and include over and under voltage detection in order to inform a higher instance on non-critical abnormalities. Furthermore, all regulators are overcurrent and short circuit protected to ensure no damages in case of critical circumstances. The PIMIC includes redundant reference voltage generation as well as a dual clock system to ensure proper operation. Analog, digital and forced built-in self-test functions as well as error-corrected OTP read and optional CRC protected I2C communication are included to complete the functional safety features. BD868A0 is qualified according to the AAC Q100 and in designed in accordance to ISO 262662. It comes in a small, outstanding QFN20 package with, with 3.5 by 3.5 mm dimensions. Here you can see an extract of the BD868A0 electrical parameters. The input voltage is optimized for power over coax applications. Output voltages for the primary, one secondary, buck and the LDO are OTP configurable in a wide range. Only the output voltage of buck 3 is not configurable as this I.O. voltage is fixed to 1.8 volt. The output current capability is generously dimensioned to be future safe. The functional safety features over and under voltage detection are configurable in a wide range as well as the detection debounce time, so being able to adapt to all kinds of system requirements. The PMIC is designed to operate with coax cables impedances of up to 6 ohms, when, even when drawing maximum current out of the PMIC. Summarizing BD868A0 is a camera subsystem power management IC to achieve highest AC levels. It includes redundant reference voltages, double oscillators, analog, digital and forced built-in self-test functions as well as error-corrected OTP read functions. Output voltage generation includes over and under voltage detection. All regulators include overcurrent and short circuit protection and the secondary DC DC regulates also over voltage protection. BD86 8A0 also include a dual thermal safety system composed of a thermal warning signal and a self protecting thermal shutdown system. Communication via I2C interface is CRC protected to avoid unsecured PMIC register access and the chip design follows the ISO 262662 rules. This new camera PMIC BD868A0 solves the form factor challenges with a package of just 3.5 by 3.5 mm and its smallest bill of material has optimized power supply architecture to solve the thermal issues and includes, as mentioned above, all required functional safety features. A perfect IC for automotive camera subsystems. For further information, please contact your local room salesperson or distributor or contact us via our webpage Rome.com